When we use HD Insight to query against unstructured data, most of the time we're going to read that data from Windows Azure Blob Store. The reason we do that is because Blob Store is relatively inexpensive and it will persist even if we take our HD Insight Hadoop clusters down in order to perhaps save money or to reconfigure them. So there are several methods for getting data into Azure Blob Store. We can use command line utilities, we can use GUI applications, we can write our own code in C Sharp, and we'll look at different methods, but this first method is probably the easiest, and that's using a command line utility provided by Microsoft called AZ Copy. And you can find this pretty easily just by searching it in Bing or whatever search engine you like to use. And it'll probably land you at this page, which is the Windows Azure Storage Team blog, and they talk about AZ Copy and give some really nice examples of how to use it. AZ Copy is free, and you can download it from GitHub following the link on the Azure Storage Team blog. So I've already done that, and what I'm going to do is just move some files from my local system up to Azure Blob Store using AZ Copy. So the files I'm going to move I have in this local folder called Local Blobs on my C drive. I just have 21 relatively small files here. Even though my folder contains just a lot of small JSON files, AZ Copy works just as well. Moving extremely large files, it's uh, very efficient and has a lot of options depending on the types of files you're going to move around. I'm going to move these files into my storage account, which is this one. And as I move the files with AZ Copy, AZ Copy will create a new container for me. I'm going to call it demo, and you notice that I don't have a demo folder yet, or container yet. So as I create this, I will, uh, I will then get one. So if I go to my command prompt in the folder where I extracted the AZ Copy utility, I can see this is where it is, and it's pretty easy to run. I just run an AZ Copy, give it the input folder where my files are now and then the storage account that I'm going to copy them to and I'll put in a folder like demo and then I need to provide the key which is kind of like a password to uh, to write the files there and uh, it's way too long to type in so I'm going to paste this in here and I'm gonna mask it so that you don't see it in the video but there's just a long string of characters that represent the key and then I'll just hit enter and at that point AZ copy will start up however many threads it wants to and start spooling files off into the blob store and it tells me it's loaded 21 files so let me go back and look, and if I refresh and look in here, I have a demo folder now with my 21 files. So that's it, pretty easy. It's um, a little like using FTP, except I think uh, maybe a little bit easier than that. So that's just one method. Uh, again, there are a, a number of different methods for doing this. That's a very simple one and one that many people use. So that's it, just a, a quick lesson on AZ Copy. Very easy to use, as you can see. You do need to set up your Azure storage account first and have your key copied from the dashboard within the portal. But once you have that information in your files, it's very easy to move data into Blob Store.